What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. I am extremely excited today because we're going to be talking about how to game share on the PlayStation 5. Yes, game sharing is still a thing and it's super easy to do on the PlayStation 5. It's just a lot of people don't know about it right now and that's why I want to share it with you guys today. Let's get right into this. <music> So they have made game sharing so much easier compared to the PlayStation 4. I know PlayStation 4, how to game share, I ended up having to call Sony and they explained to me how to game share. Now, that's not something that they typically announce to people, but they did on the phone. But with game sharing on the PlayStation 5, they made it so much easier and I can't wait to share it with you. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is only game share with someone that you can trust, a friend, or a family member, something like that. Don't just go and give your information to somebody because they said they're gonna give you a game. That's a really great way to get hacked and lose your account. Absolutely do not do that. And for anybody that's going to put their login information in the comment section, for the most part, I'm gonna be trying to delete all of those comments like I did for the last video talking about the PlayStation 4 game sharing because I don't want to see anybody get hacked and it's because they commented their information in this video. Please don't do it, only game share with a friend or somebody that you will trust. So now how I'm going to explain it is for you, how you can game share with a friend and vice versa, but I'm gonna be explaining it that way because it's a little bit easier to understand. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is log into your account on your PlayStation 5. This is you logging into your own account on your own PlayStation 5. On the main menu, click the gear icon right next to your avatar. Next, select users and accounts. Then select the other option. Now you're gonna to want to select console sharing and offline play and make sure that it says disabled. If it shows that it's enabled, just switch it to disabled. Now your part is done as the person who's game sharing with a friend. Now what you're gonna to want to do is give your login information to your friend so they can log into your accounts on their PlayStation 5. Now you're gonna have them go through the same steps that you just did. So they're gonna log into your accounts on their PS5 they're going to go in the main menu and they're going to click the gear icon right next to the avatar. They're going to select users and accounts, select other option, and then they're going to select console sharing and offline play. Instead of hitting disable, they're going to select don't disable and make sure that it is enabled on their PlayStation 5. That is how you game share with them. Now, while they're still on your accounts, they can simply go into your library and download any of the games that they want to play on their own account. Now, just as a reminder, as of right now, it's only the games that are on your library that you can game share, no more, but hopefully in the future, they will change this. Now, once they have gotten all of the games that they want, they can log out of your account and go back into their own account but they must keep your PlayStation 5 accounts on their PlayStation 5. They can't just go and delete your account information after doing this because all of the games that they downloaded from you will then show a locked icon on it and they'll have no access to the game. Whenever you're game sharing with somebody, they have to keep your login information and your account information on their PlayStation 5 and having their accounts enabled while your account says disabled for them to be able to go and download your games that are in your library. Now you can, if you game share, just like the PlayStation 4, you both can play that game at the same exact time. You can play it against each other, play it together online, and everything just like a normal game as if both people purchase the game themselves. Now the one thing with game sharing with somebody is if you game share with somebody, now you cannot play your games offline except if you have a game on disc. Any of the games you downloaded from the PlayStation Store, if your internet goes out, you will not be able to play any of those games. And any of the games that you downloaded for free for PS Plus, you won't be able to play any of those games, just the games that you have a physical disc for. But there is an easy way that you can do this. You can go back into the settings and you can enable it on your PlayStation 5 if your internet does go out and you wanna play some of those games and you'll be able to. All you'll have to do in the future if you want to play or have your friend play any of the games that they got from you, then you'll have to go and disable it again, 
and on your accounts on their PS5, they'll have to re-enable it and then they'll have access to all of their games once again. So like I said, it is super, super easy to game share on the PlayStation 5. They really made it super easy this year and I'm really glad they did because that means you can game share with the friends and two people can game share together instead of everybody having to purchase their own games. For example, if you and your friend see that there's two games that are interested to you guys, instead of you both purchasing two copies of each game, one person purchases one game, the other person purchases the other one, and then they game share the games, which is a really, really awesome thing. But once again, I just want to mention only game share with somebody you trust because you can easily get your account hacked if you're simply just giving away your login information or posting it online. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to delete all of those comments that people are doing that because just like the last video, people are still going to do that even though I gave a warning about not doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys are enjoying game sharing on the PlayStation 5. Comment down below how that worked out for you and if it works. And I hope you guys are really enjoying your PlayStation 5s. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.